Hi folks, how are you all doing today? So we are uh, learning about list today. Okay, so what is list? How to use list, right? How many types of lists are there in HTML? We're going to learn about all these things. Okay, so yes, um, before starting off with lists, I would just like to tell you uh, that if you have not be been watching my videos, right? Please do go back to my channel, Folks Hub. Okay. And there are multiple playlists uh, like App Lab. There's a playlist for games, okay, programming concepts, patterns. And we've started off with this web development series, right? So you can absolutely go back to any of these playlists, watch all of them in sequence if you are watching them, right? So that you can understand the content better, okay? Now, so um, yes, please do share my videos with your friends and family and all the kids, whoever feel, uh, you feel like they have to learn coding and they really can't uh, spend so much money on the very expensive coding courses. So please, please do share all the videos, right? Or do share the channel itself, right? Or the link of the channel, or you can uh, just share the name of the channel at least so that they can just open it and uh, subscribe to my channel and start learning right so yes we always have to you know share our knowledge correct so please please share it and then um, yes coming to our uh, content today we're learning about lists right so how many types of lists are there in html okay so there are three types of lists okay We'll learn about all these three types. Before learning about these three types of lists, what is a list, right? So if you know what is a list, you can actually comment in the comment section below. Do let me know if you are with me, right? <laughs> okay. So yes, um, I've just created a web lab project now. List is nothing but uh, a list of items. It can be like basically examples are if uh, grocery list, right? So you just have... Uh, all those items in the list whichever you want for for your uh, daily needs right so that can be your list or uh, let's suppose you want to you know you have a phone numbers list right where all the contact numbers are there okay contact list we can say and uh, there are other so many examples where lists are coming into the picture correct so if you want to display these type of lists on your web page then then what will you do, right? So you will be using these three types of lists which are present in HTML, okay? So I'll just write it off here so that uh, you can understand it better. Yes. So starting off with the first type of list which is ordered list, okay? Ordered list, right? The next type is unordered list okay, unordered list third one will be definition list okay dl right so you call this ordered list as ol basically okay ol right then this one will be ul okay so of course the tags are not in capital letters understand that please okay so this is dl okay so these are the tags which we use for uh, defining these type of lists ordered list is represented in the form of ol tag okay unordered list ul tag obviously right and definition list dl tag pretty obvious right okay so now starting off with the ordered list right so list is nothing but to list out something okay and into like one after the other you're just placing all the elements Okay, now in ordered list, what happens is, like the name itself suggests, it is ordered, okay, ordered by means, so um, like it can be using numbers, it is ordered, or it can be using alphabets, it is ordered, okay, so um, we say one and then write something, two, then write something, okay, so this is in an order, in a specific sequence, you're writing it, correct? Okay? So that is what is done using ordered list. Okay, let's start off writing ol tag. Ol and closing ol tag. So within this, you have to write 
list item tag okay list item tag is nothing but li tag right so li list item okay then you have a closing one also so one li tag is used for writing one item in your list let's suppose you have 10 items that means you should have 10 list li tags basically okay so let's just list out groceries itself let's say coffee first okay then uh, then let's write another li tag closing li tag right then the element within this so i'm writing t then another one so let's write um, biscuits okay so or you can you can say uh, cookies whatever you uh, want to write okay so cookies or biscuits okay so now now you can see it is uh, showing the list right not only showing the list but it is ordered right it is having numbers beside it right D did i really specify those numbers here hmm, not really correct but yes you still can see one two and three right how how is this possible just because of ol tag okay ol is nothing but ordered list right so it is ordered in the form of uh, numbering right by giving the numbers it is ordered okay now now let's change the type of ordered list right so type you can give all these okay it can be one then you'll get numbers if you write capital a so see capital letters are here right so let's write small a you can see all the small letters are here so if i write small i so roman numericals okay if i write capital i capital roman numericals okay and uh, yeah so these are all the options which you have in type let me just show you again so i'll write type okay type so one we check this capital a capital letter i small a small i okay so these are the different or various types you have and you can order them in such such a way right so let's suppose i want capital letters i'll just write capital a and all these are in uh, capital letters now okay so this is about ordered list right now what if i wanna write same thing in unordered list okay unordered list the name itself suggests it is unordered that means you do not have numbers or alphabets instead you have bullet points okay so let's just write it so i'm just writing uh, ol as ul let's not write the type over here so instead of ol here i'll write ul you can see this again ul tag also has li tags itself right li means list item okay so in unordered list we have these three list items correct and these three list items are listed over here with circular bullet points right this are actually these are not circular things like this is a um, disk okay so disk format okay now let's write type for this not only this uh, black dots right you can actually what happened to this type okay so we can say square so you can see the square bullets are uh, coming right so square for square it is a square shape for disc uh, it is this one okay and circle circle without the you know color inside it right only the outline of the circle is coming and then there is another type also i only remember these three things but yes there are a few types like these okay circle disc square then um then i'm just forgetting one more okay but yeah so this is how you can change the type right so there uh ol tag ordered list has these type of things and ul tag has uh, these things okay like bulleted things right now now what next it is dl tag right so ol understood which is ordered ul unordered right 
then what is BL? Definition list. So like the name itself suggests again. So it is like the description list we can say or definition list we can say. So basically it describes the uh, list items also. Okay. How? How it does that? Right. So I'll just say DL. Okay. Let's close the DL tag basically. Right. And let's place the cursor here. And DL tag doesn't really come with LI tags inside it. Okay. So DL tag actually has its own tags again. So they are um, DT, that means definition term, right, or defined terms, okay, and DD, that means the terms description, right, or uh, data description, you can say, okay. So let's start off writing BT, because first we have to define the term only, then you can describe it, isn't it? So that's why I'm writing DT, that means uh, defined um, term. So let's suppose I'm writing um, soda something, okay? So you can write anything. Let's describe this using DD. DD means describing data, okay? So you can say describing the term, right? Soda, um, carbonated drink, let's suppose. Carbonated drink. So then let's just copy the same thing, control C, control V, and uh, Coke, Coke, and carbonated black drink, let's suppose. I'm just writing this, don't, uh, don't get into these details, but yes, you can see, this is the definition term, right? And you have the description of that term. Okay, definition term, you have the description of that term. Okay, this is how definition lists work, right? So this is ordered list, unordered list and definition list or you can say um, description list also, no problem. However, it is, it is both, both the same basically, right? So I hope you understood about the list and how to write them, correct? So these, sorry, so these three types are, uh, are the lists, right? But yes, you can absolutely nest one list into other list, right? That means you can place a list inside another list, okay? So this is called as nested list, right? You're nesting your list here. So let's do that, okay? Let's write a small example on that. I'm just starting off with the OL tag, okay? You can place UL inside OL or OL inside UL. It's absolutely up to you how you're doing this, okay? So based on the requirement, you do this. I want uh, something to be ordered. And inside this ordered list, I want something to be unordered. Something like that I want. So that's why I'm writing this. Okay. So starting off with the list items, basically. Right. So list items. Okay. So first list item will be um, country. All right. Then uh, inside this list item. I want to write UL tag, okay? So unordered list I want to show, right? So it's UL tag. Inside the UL tag, we absolutely know what to write, correct? It's LI tag, right? Because we have to uh, create a list item, right? Without the list item, how can a UL tag exist at least, right? So within this, we'll write the elements. So start off uh, writing or listing few countries here, India, then uh, America, okay, let's write next one, Australia, next, um, next let's write um, Nepal, okay. Next, let's write Bangladesh. That's it. Okay. So we have few countries listed over here. That means you can see inside the ordered list, I have one single list item, which is this one, country. And inside country, I have few countries listed, right? 
so in such cases if you want to list something which has a sublist inside it definitely you can use this nesting uh, thing right after this list item i'll just start writing another list item to just show you how this works right so uh, after countries i want to say cities okay so inside this i want to show ul tag again okay let's write ul inside ul definitely we should be writing li tags right that's obvious pretty obvious okay so li so cities uh, maybe hyderabad okay then uh, another li tag here bangalore okay next let's write another one mumbai okay let's write another one sydney let's write another one melbourne okay let's write another one brisbane anything basically i'm just randomly writing all these things so you can see this is nesting of the list right now you can write multiple li tags within the same ol tag for listing something like this right so this this is a list on in on the whole and it also has a sub list within it right so then in such kind of cases you can absolutely use this nesting of the list okay so this is all about our uh, list in html right we have three types of lists which are uh, ordered list then unordered list and definition or description list right so in this ordered list is nothing but which can be ordered using alphabets numbers or roman numericals right ul tags basically unordered list where you have the bullets right so you have circular bullets disc bullets square bullets okay and then now uh, you have dl dl is nothing but dis description list or definition list to describe the elements which you already have in the list we can use this type of list okay and then um, nesting of the tags so this complete thing is we are nesting right in one inside the other right this is list basically country cities is one of the list inside this list again you have uh, sub list basically for each element so that's why you can uh, actually do this one use this right and yeah this is all about the list if you have any queries you can absolutely get back to me in the comment section below right i i'm here to clarify all your queries and concerns and do submit your projects if you're creating any along with me right so so that i can check them and if you're creating any web pages uh, using uh, this one right so please do uh, send them so that i can see and give you feedbacks okay not only this and uh, any project which you're creating you can absolutely just submit those links in the comment section below how to submit your links you just click on share button here copy link to project and just paste the link in the comment section below so that i can check all of them out right so submit your projects i will be definitely very happy to help you all out guys out there <laughs> right to uh, you know create some very good projects school projects web pages apps games uh, any stories or any animation which you're creating in any of the labs right so please do share all of them okay and i'll be meeting you all guys in the next video right until then you know what you have to do you just have to watch all my videos in the sequence in in the series like uh, we have we have so many uh, playlists right so just go back there and check out all of my videos and yeah i'm, I'm gonna reach uh, my 50 video mark soon I'm, I'm waiting for it and I'm, I'm so happy about it that i'm reaching it soon <laughs> okay so if i'm reaching 50 that means uh, i've started this channel i mean and it has become 50 days it's like that right if i'm gonna publish my 50th video okay so yes i'm so excited for that and i'm, I'm looking forward to it uh, what am what am i really going to post on that day right i'm just I'm just waiting for it yes uh, thank you so much for all your support guys please do support me 
uh, more and more like this where I do share all my videos. Please like, comment and share. Subscribe to my channel, folks. Huh? Okay. I'll be meeting you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a great day all. Thank you so much for watching this video.